Bangladesh's president dissolved parliament on Tuesday, clearing the way for an interim government and new elections. Hundreds gathered on the grounds of Bangladesh's parliament house in the capital, Dhaka, after Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina resigned and fled the country to a safe house in India on Monday. The movement that toppled Hasina rose out of demonstrations against public sector job quotas for families of veterans of Bangladesh's 1971 independence war. The move was seen by critics as a means to reserve jobs for allies of the ruling party. About 300 people were killed and thousands injured in violence since July. Student protesters had threatened more demonstrations if parliament was not dissolved. The decision to dissolve parliament was taken following meetings with the heads of armed forces, leaders of political parties, student leaders and some civil society representatives, the presidential statement said. The group also demanded Nobel Peace Laureate Mohammed Yunus be the interim government's chief advisor. A spokesperson for Yunus said he had agreed. The damage to the Prime Minister's residence clear after it was stormed and looted by demonstrators on Monday. I think what has happened yesterday, the vandalism, it was not at all appreciated. The palace belongs to the people, like us. We will have to pay for its reconstruction. The streets of the capital, Dhaka, fell quiet on Tuesday, with traffic lighter, but students stepping up in the absence of police. We haven't seen any traffic policemen since yesterday evening. That's why we took the responsibility in our hands to control the traffic so everyone can commute smoothly. The student leaders also said they had received reports of attacks on minority groups, including Hindu temples in the Muslim-majority country. They urged restraint, saying this could undermine their movement.